What's up, guys? This is Alex Van Houten with Defining Dad Bod. I hope you're doing well. I am so freaking just jazzed up right now. I just can't even tell you. Today, I am going live. I know this is not our normal schedule, but I need to talk to you about something that I'm calling Dad versus Team Dad Bod. So I was recently tagged in a few different posts where a young woman, I guess, had something to say about how a man should be, and it was tied to the whole dad bod thing. Let, let me read the post to you just so I can tell you about why well, I'm so freaking jazzed up. Guys with abs, uncomfy to lay on, spend time at the gym instead of with you, pressure for you to look flawless, pecs bigger than your boobs. Guys with dad bods, make a good pillow, always down for a burger, binge drink on the regular, usually funnier than the average male. Hashtag Team dad bod. Now, I understand that this was reposted by the Chive as a joke, and it's gone viral. I think over 100,000 shares actually of this, and it's still going. And I was tagged because, you know, those of you in my circle know that I have something to say about what a dad bod should be. That's why this is defining dad bod. So I understand the humor. However, when something like this goes so viral, and people start commenting on how a dad's body should be or how a man's body should be, I think that those of us who are living the life should actually have an opportunity to chime in and say something about it. So I'm going to say something about it. And if you're joining me live, I'm going to call you to a little bit of action too, if you agree with me. So I appreciate you jumping on. So dad versus team dad bod. What the heck's the big deal, Alex? Why are you so jazzed up? Well, first of all, one, I think that if anybody's going to comment on what a dad's body should or shouldn't be, should ask the dads. Now, I, I purport to have a legacy of health and fitness for my child, and I have a lot to say about what I think a dad's body should stand for, but I'm not the only dad out there. I want dads to be able to say something about it. And when you go check out these posts, there are like girls at like 18, 19 years old and, and guys who don't even have kids and blah, 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 talking about the hashtag dad bod. And I'm sorry, that's that's just not something for you to say. If you're not a dad, you shouldn't really have a say in what a dad's body should be about. And for you dads out there who disagree with me on a physical level, that's totally fine. I'm cool with that. It just drives me bonkers that people are telling us what our bodies should be like. So that's one reason I'm jazzed up. The second reason that I'm jazzed up about this, though, is that kids are not a justification to let yourself go. Kids are not a justification to let yourself go. The reason it's called a dad bod is because when a dad has children, there's something that changes in him biologically. Serotonin, testosterone, cortisol, I've done shows and, and talks about that and stuff before. It makes it really difficult for a guy to maintain a decent body composition. And so it's actually pretty normal for most men to, to put on the freshman 15 of of early dadhood. And that's fine. However, that's not licensed to all of a sudden completely set your health and fitness to the side and go, you know what, I'm going to eat whatever I want and do whatever I want. You know why? Because our kids are watching us and they do what we do and not what we say. And if we want to teach our children how to do awesome nutrition habits, how to exercise regularly, take care of themselves, be competent individuals, then we have to model that. We have to do that. We have to find some way in order to marry the philosophy of I enjoy my life with I'm going to be healthy and fit for myself and my community. And so, hey, Ryan, thanks for that. I appreciate that. Ryan says, dad bod is a body trying to be healthy for their kids. Wherever they end up is where they're supposed to be. That's what the heck I'm talking about, dude. High five. That's exactly what I'm saying here. Uh, so this is a call dad versus team dad bod this is a call for dads one to speak up about what you think your body should stand for and two this is a call for those of us who really care to leave a legacy of health and fitness for our kids this is a call for you to say no i like to redefine what the heck dad bod actually means because i'm doing it very differently in my house. So I believe our kids deserve better than uh, people who just relegate themselves. Oh, I guess I've got the dad bod. Like, no, make a conscious decision. If you're consciously going to be a little fluffier than others, fan freaking tastic, but make a conscious decision about it. And if you're a dad who is busting his butt, he works, he goes to the gym, he plays with his kids at the playground, he has all the energy that he needs to be the man he has, has to be in his household, 
you be that guy, man, and you're killing it, and I love you, and I want you to keep up the good work. Hashtag defining dad bod. So this is a call, dad versus team dad bod. Dad's out there. I want you to say, no, hey, wait a second. This is what I have to say about my body. This is what I have to say about what dad bod should be. And I think that we should break a cycle. Uh, we it, this, The research is very clear. If children are raised in homes with obese parents, no offense to you obese parents out there, but if children are raised in homes with obese parents, they are nine times more likely to be obese themselves, and they don't really have a choice in that. So I think that those of us who are conscious about our children, who really care and love our kids and want to give them the best, that we should also think about that in, in terms of our bodies and how what we do, our habits on a daily basis and how we present ourselves, how that affects our children. And so this is a call to break the cycle. This is dad versus team dad bond. And my call to action for you guys, if you agree with this message that we should leave a legacy of health and fitness for our kids and it's time to redefine what we mean by the term dad bod, this is our opportunity to say so about it. You can either post what you think a dad bod should be, or you could simply post, it's time to redefine what we mean by dad bod. And if you would, you can do a few things to make sure other people on the internet catch up to that. You can hashtag dad versus team dad bod. You can hashtag defining dad bod, and you can hashtag team dad bod. And my hope is that a positive message of what a dad's body should mean informed by dads with conscious understanding of what they want to pass on to their kids, I hope that that goes just as viral as this goofy meme that was meant as a joke. But I'm sorry, uh, those of us who care aren't taking it laying down. So thanks for indulging me there. Thanks for joining me live. And I appreciate the dads and the moms and the non-married people and the non-children and people who, who make this show possible and support Defining Dad Bod. And if you really, really disagree with the message that Dad Bod should be a fluffy version of some guy who's a pillow and binge drinks regularly, uh, you can join the movement and support my fight at www.patreon.com slash Defining Dad Bod. So again, thanks for joining me. Super jazzed up. I hope you guys are just as jazzed up as I am. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing that we can trend a positive message of good, healthy parenting that passes on a legacy of health and fitness for our kids. You guys rock. Air five. Kick butt. Take names. <laughs>